Hello and welcome to this uh, edition of Tips and Tricks and today I'm going to be going into a little bit of uh, when to use a snap and when not to use a snap. It's like I've told you before when I was growing up I was the bass guy and so all my friends that wanted to learn usually came out and I taught them and I found most of them you know they, they already knew how to fish a worm or they caught most of the fish on worm but they always wanted to to learn different techniques and so I would always introduce them to crank baits, uh, jerk baits, rattle traps, uh, different surface sewers. But I would always get them, or often get them to ask me uh, when should they use a snap and when should they tie uh, directly to the eye of the lure. Well my rule of thumb is anything that has its own action that's built into it by the manufacturer, meaning a crank bait, a jerk bait, a rattle trap, anything that has a, a lip and, and is designed to wobble as it goes through the water, you always want to use a snap. And I know some of them come with uh, split rings, but I found that those will at times inhibit the true action of it, so I always take those off and I always use a snap. I always use one of those uh, dual lock snaps, the little wire ones. And what this does is since the, the eye is moving back and forth as the action's occurring, you want something that will allow it to move as freely as it can in order for it to do the action that's built into it by the manufacturer. And if you tie directly to it, it's almost like you're holding it with your fingers. When you tie directly to it, it's real tight, and it really won't allow that freedom that it needs to get the good action. And especially when you're fishing at a, a faster speed, it, it'll really hold it back. Sometimes it won't even wobble if you're coming in fast. So crankbaits, jerkbaits, rattle traps, like I said, anything with its own built-in action, that's where you want to use a snap. Now when you get to your surface lures, uh, most surface lures, or pretty much any lure that doesn't have its own built-in action, and the action is actually created by the line and your rod tip, that's when you want to tie directly to it. You don't want to use a snap, because you want that lure to move exactly as you want it to. And when it's tied tight to it and it's got a hold of it, it can really help you get a lot better action of you're walking a dog or popping it or or whatever technique you're using. And it's because when you put the snap on there, like I said in the crankbaits, it, it allows it some freedom, and that allows it to kind of get sloppy, and that can affect um, your exact control over the lure. So that's just my rule of thumb. Uh, most surface lures or anything that you're using the, the line and the rod to give the action, uh, tie directly to the end of the lure. If you're using something like a crankbait, jerkbait, or anything that has its own built-in action, use a snap. I hope this helps. Till next time.